Hey everyone, this is Sammy. So I am um, like the last video you saw from me was a holiday vlog, and I'm definitely, definitely back at work and uh, definitely back in Paris. So it's kind of like um, I was gonna say back to the same old, same old. It's not back to the same old, same old. Uh, I'm still in Paris, but I'm gonna be moving to London, as some of you may know. So I, um, so it's kind of like working, getting ready for the move, all sorts of stuff like that. I also had my hair extensions taken out, but I haven't had my hair cut and colored the way I want to because my stylist is super busy after the holidays and hopefully I will get there in the next couple of days and then I'll kind of like show you my new haircut. So I've just been wearing it up because it's been layered for the extensions so it doesn't look as amazing as it could. Anyways, um, I mentioned quickly in a previous video about French women, like Parisian women, and how people have a certain perception of French makeup, and but that's not actually reality. Like, there isn't a cat line or red lip kind of thing. That is not a French or a Parisian kind of look. A Parisian kind of look is concentrating on one thing. So sometimes you do a kind of a kind of a uh, rock chick eye. That's all you do then. Then you don't really see any makeup on the skin. You don't see much on the lips. That is it. Or if you do a red lip, you do a red lip, but you don't really do anything else. Now, obviously, since I'm a makeup artist and since I do like a little bit of makeup, I do wear a little bit of something else when I wear a red lip, but a traditional kind of, a French red lip is, is just that. It's the focal point. It's all about the lip and finding the right shade for your skin, like so that, the lip looks amazing and everything else is just like almost thrown together, so to speak. It is, um, French women and Parisians, they consider it much more chic to kind of play up one thing as opposed to go all out. And it is, um, and I do like that look. I do like to keep everything minimal if I'm wearing a red lip. So it, do, it does like, it does appeal to me as well. So I thought I'd do a super quick makeup look just with kind of like how a French woman wears a red lip. And yeah, I do wear a little bit of makeup, so I'll talk you through all of that. I'm not French enough to go completely bare face with just a red lip, but if you can, please do, because then you are much more authentic Persian than I am. But yeah, let's get started. And at the end of the video, uh, a lot of you have requested outfits of the day, and I completely kind of forgot about them. I did one of on my vlog and I think the last time before that was probably like a year ago. So I'll do a quick outfit of the day because I'm wearing French brands. So as um, I said, French women don't wear much makeup when they wear red lips. I am going to use a uh, Too Faced Beauty Balm and this is in Cream Glow because my skin is not as perfect as it should be. But if we can get away without wearing um, any foundation, then absolutely do. Now. I'm using a Tarte, I think this is called a contour brush, but I'm loving it for kind of lighter type foundations. You just kind of almost stipple it in. And my skin right now, due to holiday, then London, then Paris, is really reacting with spots. Three different places, three different types of water. My skin doesn't like it, so I'm gonna to need to cover them as well. So the BB cream goes on a little bit light, but as it sits on my face, it kind of oxidizes. Uh, I am gonna to need to cover up. I am using um, Max Studio Finish Concealer in NW35, and I think I need to add, I think that's ever so slightly dark, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage. I love Secret Camouflage because it really stays in place, but I don't have a shade dark enough, so we're just mixing the two. And as a brush, I'm using the Sigma E45. I really do have too many spots. I'm just a little bit over my pigmentation. I actually didn't get as bad pigmentation as I normally do when I'm on holiday. And I'm going to attribute that to my Bioderma face block. Under my eyes, I'm using By Terry Touch Expert Advanced in number five. And I am just really lightly, lightly, well, lightly. I'm not, 
the whole thing with kind of like if you were attempting to do Parisian style makeup is it should be pretty undetectable apart from the one thing that you're doing so if you're doing eyes like a rock shit liner do that everything else should be pretty undetectable if you're doing red lips do that but everything else very very minimal um, on my eyelids because I personally cannot go completely bare eyelids I'm gonna use MAC paints and the color is sublime nature now the reason why I like this for a kind of bare eyelids effect is this is kind of like a gray beige I would say but it has a tiny bit of sheen and your natural eyelids have a tiny bit of sheen so it kind of dresses them up because if you use something that's completely matte like you know a paint pot that's completely matte it doesn't look natural because there isn't a sheen and most people's eyelids are they have a bit of a sheen they're a little bit oily but if you can go bare eyelids by all means I'm gonna put a tiny bit of powder right now I'm using NARS I love this little pouch the NARS translucent crystal light reflecting setting powder I've gotten into a habit of using this with a kabuki I think because the actual powder is quite this is quite hard so I feel like a kabuki kind of gets enough product as blush I'm using NARS Douceur as you can see I really love it and my MAC 13A so again Keeping it very, very undetectable. I think that's the key word for this look. Undetectable. Apart from the one thing. Also, I didn't powder kind of the, the edge of my face. I'm not using a highlighter. I'm just letting the kind of the natural oils do the highlighting. Now for my brows, I am going to use... Hold on, I was like, where is it? Uh, MAC Brow Set, and this is in Show Off. I've recently dyed my eyebrows, they went too pale on holiday, and I'm just going to wipe almost everything off on a tissue, and then I'm going to brush them up. This is a little bit darker than my eyebrows, and that's the way I'm liking it right now. I am pretending to have a very strong brow, but the brows shouldn't look drawn in so that's why I'm kind of like I'm filling them in with this brow mascara but I'm not um, I'm not actually penciling them in so if there's little gap unless you have very very big gaps use a little bit of powder but I'm just kind of like brushing them upwards filling them in with this and hoping for the best obviously curling my lashes I always do. If you've got amazing lashes, like especially if they're dark enough, don't even wear mascara. Mine are a little bit too pale, so I'm gonna use Smashbox Full Exposure, but I'm not gonna use crazy amount to it. Right now, my lashes would be long enough and kind of full enough to wear without mascara if they just had that little bit of color and then kind of use a spoolie this is by Sigma and brush your lashes through they should be flirty and fluttery not not clumpy and not too obviously full of mascara then for the main act the lipstick I am using two MAC products MAC Russian Red, which for me is, like, for my colouring is the perfect red, and Max Brick Liner. Now, for Parisian Red, you do, you do go red, but find your own tone. But the idea is it's not, it's not like pink red or cor coral red. It's a red. Um, but find the own t your own tone. I suit, um, I do suit kind of cherry reds as well, but Russian Red is my all-time favourite. And this is the only part of the makeup that really should show. So I'm lining first. And I also kind of fill in a little bit. Now 
Now, if your lips are really big, try and maybe not go all the way to the edges. The one thing with Persian women is um, everything's always chic and tasteful. Nothing is too over the top. Um, so lipstick isn't too over the top. The eye makeup isn't too over the top. The diamonds aren't too over the top. Everything is often like, um, I think Parisian women consider a lot of things that are over the top a little bit vulgar. So everything is about being chic. And obviously if you have a smaller lap mouth like me, go exactly all the way to the outline. I'm gonna use this straight from the bullet. So this was Russian red. You can obviously use a lip brush. And then I blot it and I check if I can leave it like this. I tend to leave it like that. If after blotting there's always gaps, I add a little bit of liner. but kind of a slightly worn in, like um, not too fresh of a lipstick. I think looks um, looks a little bit more Parisian. And that's it. That's like the easiest makeup tutorial ever. But um, keep it simple. Keep your focus on your lips. Everything else as neutral as possible. If you can get away without mascara, do. If you can get away without any foundation, do. You know, it is all about the one kind of accent. So um, yeah. So so I'll do a quick outfit of the day. Um, I was kind of being quite French about my outfit because my necklace, my top, and my jeans are all French. Uh, my necklace is by Saint October, 5th of October. I'll put a link below. It's a, a little French jewelry label. I get this from Mercy. Love their stuff. And um, I think recently I've been wearing just one piece. I haven't been wearing tons and tons of things and yeah that again I guess is more Parisian not to pile on the jewellery and I shall back up and do my whole outfit. So my outfit of the day is very French, French brands apart from the shoes. Uh, my top is by a French brand called Shine. Um, it's kind of a little very pale rose for white beater. Wore as loads on holiday. Absolutely love it and it's kind of long so that's nice and bra underneath is princess tam tam their classic kind of balconette bra my jeans are isabel maranta as well i love it because they're very heavy denim and the kind of like the where it comes up it's lowish mid-rise it's not totally low rise it's lowish mid-rise and they're very kind of like no detailing, but what I love is the cut and the super heavy denim. I really don't like jeggings style denim at all. And my amazing sliders that I am so in love with are by Bimba Lola. I have worn these for a month now almost and haven't taken them off. So comfortable, so amazing, go with everything is so very kind of this summer. So that's my outfit of the day. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you like this type of video. I do want to do something about Paris before I kind of um, move more or less to London. Um, and let me know if you'd be interested in something like that. But um, very good to see you again. I'm going to do August favorites early next week. Hopefully edit it early next week as well. And I will see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.